Hi, I'm Heather, founder of Lovingly.com and the Sourdough Mamas community. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bake your sourdough bread on your barbecue. Now just a few things before we get started. This is not a video explaining how to make sourdough bread itself. Um, I have a recipe on my blog for that. You can find the link to that below. This is just a video to show you what to do with your dough after you pull it out of the fridge and how to bake it in the barbecue. So as you can see, I'm outside in my backyard. It's the end of June and I live in Colorado. It is 95 degrees outside and it's been in the 90s and 100s for the last week. So I haven't been baking any bread and then it occurred to me, we've been baking most of our meals, cooking most of our meals on the barbecue. So why not sourdough? You know, we really missed having bread around so why not do that? We don't want to turn our oven on and heat up the house any more than we have to. So I went ahead and gave it a try and it worked absolutely perfectly. You can see this is the the very first loaf of bread that I've ever done on the barbecue so it's very easy I'm gonna show you how so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat your barbecue with your Dutch oven inside so for me I use the Challenger bread pan you can see that it's in here heating up and barbecue uh, thermometers can be unreliable so I have my oven thermometer in here and you can see that my barbecue is about 400 degrees right now so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the oven, in the barbecue, keep saying oven, and close the lid to keep that precious heat in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat that barbecue for about 20 to 30 minutes on high heat. Then when you're ready to put your bread in, turn it all the way down to low heat and make sure you keep an eye on the, th on the temperature inside. You're gonna want it about 375 to 400 and I wouldn't go any higher than that. So really try to keep that temperature down. So let's go ahead and put in our bread. So we're gonna open up the grill and try not to have it open too, too long. I'm gonna take the lid off my Challenger bread pan. And if you don't have a bre Challenger bread pan, you can do the same thing with a Dutch oven. It's completely fine, as long as it can tolerate high heat. So I have my dough here. I've already scored it. It's on a cutting board. I'm just gonna slide it in on the parchment paper onto the bread pan. Whoops, went a little on the side. It's okay, there we go. So right in the middle, then we're gonna put the lid back on, close that lid, keep the heat in. And now I'm gonna actually turn the heat up a little bit. I have it on a quarter heat, which is what um, the Weber grill has for low heat. I turn it up to half, and I'm just gonna watch and make sure that that temperature goes back up to 400. And then once it does, I'm gonna bake that with the lid on for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I recommend coming out to check on it at 25 minutes and just see how it's doing. And definitely keep an eye on the temperature of your grill. Every five minutes, I'd be coming outside to take a look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and bake that for 25 minutes and come out and I'll show you what it looks like. Now I am gonna stick around at least until this thermometer here shows me 400. Then I'm gonna turn my heat back down to a quarter heat and then I feel comfortable walking away and setting the timer on my phone. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and take the lid off our Challenger bread pan and see what it looks like inside. But before we do, I wanna let you know one little thing. When this loaf was baking in there, I just took the lid off and I brought the lid out of the barbecue and then I left this on the bottom uh, pan. And what I noticed was the bottom started to burn a little bit. I caught it in time. But so what I'm gonna do is a trick that I learned from Jim Challenger himself. And that is to put the lid of the Challenger bread pan underneath the bottom pan. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna create like a pocket of air and that's gonna def de uh, deflect the heat so that it's not direct heat on the bottom of the pan which is gonna lead to those burn bottoms. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, how I do that right now. So let's open up the grill. We're gonna take off the lid. And that is what our bread looks like right now. It looks amazing. Really good oven spring and a light crust, which is normal because we don't have the direct heat on there to make that dark caramel colored crust like this. So I'm gonna try not to talk too, too long and don't wanna lose all this heat. I'm gonna flip this lid over like this. Very carefully grab this bottom pan, put it inside, slide it back in and close. I'm gonna quickly check my oven thermometer in the back of the barbecue it says 350. So I'm just gonna sit here and just make sure that temperature comes back up. 
Now remember, even if you're not baking with a Challenger bread pan and you have a Dutch oven, you can do the same thing with most Dutch ovens, unless it's a pot style, to uh, put the lid underneath to make that air bubble to prevent it from having burned bottoms. If you don't, if you have the pot style Dutch oven, go ahead and put some um, cornmeal on the bottom before you put your parchment paper on there. And what that'll do is it'll start to char the cornmeal first before it chars your bread, and it'll also create a little bit of a barrier between your bread and the bottom of the pan. But if you have something like a Lodge combo cooker, you can go ahead and put that big pan underneath the smaller pan and use that as your insulator. Okay, so I think I spaced on saying this in the last part of the video, but it's been 10 minutes and I'm just coming out, first of all, to check on the temperature of my barbecue and also to see the bottom of my bread and make sure that it's not burning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my oven mitts on. Open this up. Now, my grill thermometer says it's 300 in here. My oven thermometer, which is way in the back, says 375. So I'm gonna rely on that one because it's more accurate. This is what our bread looks like so far. And you can see that it's still very, very light. It needs more time, definitely, but we're looking at the bottom. It does look a little bit dark on the bottom, but nothing that I'm really concerned about. I don't think it's gonna burn while it's in the barbecue. Okay, it's been about 10 more minutes. Let's go ahead and open up the barbecue and see what our bread looks like. Voila! This is our finished loaf. It looks beautiful, crispy tops. The bottom is not burned. It's a little bit dark, but it's not burned. And this looks like a perfect sourdough loaf. So that is how you bake sourdough in a barbecue. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and leave me a comment as well, letting me know what your experience was, if you have any questions, if you run into any challenges, and I'd be happy to help you out. So until then, in this hot, hot Denver heat, happy baking.